everyone. I welcome all of you from London. My name is Elif from Middle East Monitor. Thank you for joining today's live conversation with the director of Seville Mosque Foundation, Ibrahim Hernandez. Welcome, Ibrahim. Hello. 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 He's joining us from Seville, lovely Seville. First of all, let me just briefly uh, mention about uh, Mr. Hernandez. Hernandez is a trustee of both Granada Mosque Foundation, which manages the first mosque built in Spain by indigenous Spanish Muslims and uh, also the El Andalus uh, Education Foundation. In 2013, he was asked to chair the Civil Mosque Foundation, striving to build an Islamic culture center in the southern, south, southern province. Today, we are going to discuss uh, the new mosque project, which hopes to give nearly 30,000 Muslims living in the capital of southern Spain's Andalusia region, their first place of worship for over 700 years. So uh, first of all, I would like to, uh, I would like to ask, uh, as you know, uh, Mr. Hernandez, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful multicultural city, Seville, hasn't had the masjid for 700 years. And amazing founding years, as we know. Of course, uh, pretty you like Federico Omer Canete, uh, he raised former football star. Uh, and one uh, dollar so, uh, is uh, Spain and it's thirty hundred thirty thousand uh, Spanish government will have is most and so can you explain the right of the Muslim in Spain in general in terms of freedom of speech? Yes, Elif, um, I don't know if everyone um, heard you as bad as I did, but um, I'm not sure the connection is very good. Can you, really? hear, me? Can you hear me properly? I cannot, I cannot crack down through the whole thing. I did get the, the point and I also got your brief before, so I think I know what you're talking about. But uh, I don't know if you want to check if everyone is, uh, can hear us properly or not before I even reply. Okay, if you want, I can briefly repeat my questions. I can hear you much better now. Perfect. If you want, I can briefly ask my questions again. If you don't mind, that'd be lovely, yes. Because Perfect. I can hear the introduction, but I, I didn't really get in the questions. Okay, amazing, lovely. So briefly, as you know, this beautiful, 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 uh, <coughs> lovely, lovely city, multicultural city, civil, hasn't had the masjid for over 700 years. So you're organizing some uh, founding events, of course. Uh, so some celebrities support you as well, like former football star Frederic Omer Canute. He has raised more than $1 million in an online crowding campaign to build the first purpose-built mosque and cultural center in Seville, uh, in Spain, in over 700 years. So do you think the Spanish government or community, community will help you to build this mosque as well? And also, can you please explain the rights of the Muslims in Spain in terms of freedom of speech? Absolutely. Okay, I got it this time. Okay. Um, so first of all, um, just to be clear, this would be, inshallah, the first purpose-built mosque in uh, Seville, which uh, I'm just making a highlight in this point, uh, just to, uh, in order to avoid confusion. There are several um, musallas we call, or um, people call them mosques, which is really buildings uh, that are converted into uh, for the use of mosques, which are shops or warehouses or whatever other buildings that are conditioned as a mosque. 
So this will be the first purposely built mosque and Islamic cultural center in 700 years. So Seville hasn't had, hasn't built a mosque for over 700 years, because I know this point has created confusion previously. Um, and yes, like you were saying, uh, Sidi Umar Kanote uh, is my friend and brother. He's been extremely helpful through the recent campaign that we did, which was very successful. And I take the opportunity to thank everyone who's been um, extremely generous through this campaign from all over the world. And in regards to your questions, um, uh, we have had and continue to have a very positive um, relationship with the government of Spain. And um, uh, we, we are not in a position where we are asking for anything in particular. And I don't know what you mean with the help, because there'll definitely not be a financial help from the government as such. We did go in the past through a, a process of asking the government to give us land. Um, which that um, didn't really work out for a very long explanation. So we're not going through that process anymore. We want to purchase a land to make it a wakaf and then build it on it. But uh, in terms of the, um, the government, like I said, we've had a very, very cordial relationship with them. Whatever we have needed from their side, uh, we've always um, got a very positive feedback. So in that regard, uh, we have absolutely no complaints, no problem whatsoever. In terms of the community, which is two different um, scenarios, I guess you mean the local community of uh, Muslims in uh, Seville or Spain, and they they do go out of their way and everyone helps in whichever way they can. Unfortunately, the community in Spain, in general, is not um, probably not as settled as it is in uh, maybe in France and the UK, where people are very well off and um, they've been working in. Uh, for many generations and you have people at all levels of society. In Spain is not, uh, maybe not so settled, probably because geopolitically Spain is in the south of the, uh, Europe. So it's more of um, an, an, a way of entry. People tend to go up to the north of Spain in terms of immigration. Um, but yeah, people do have been extremely, extremely helpful in whichever way they have. And uh, they, those are obviously always open for whoever wants to help in whichever way they can in the project. And uh, in terms of the, what you asked about the rights of the Muslims in terms of freedom of speech, I don't think the, the freedom of speech is um, in any way aligned to, to your religion. So Spain is a secular government and uh, we all by constitution have exactly the same rights. So I don't think that um, being or not Muslim will jeopardize our rights of freedom of speech or any other rights. Or, or obligations at the same time. So, yeah, I think uh, Spain in 1992, they signed an agreement um, uh, to, that rules, that governs the, uh, the, um, the relationship between the state of Spain and the Muslims, uh, which has uh, many, many different rights in terms of, um, of um, um, education in the schools, uh, uh, halal, um, uh, food in schools and uh, in prisons and many, many different aspects that kind of govern the, the relationship between the, the Muslims and the government of Spain. It's something that has been very, very positive. And I think uh, like any other um, thing that was written in the past could probably get better and it could definitely, we, we could as Muslims and the government work towards um, polishing or uh, working towards better in these uh, conditions, but uh, absolutely no complaints. And uh, uh, like I said at the beginning, a very, very positive response from the government every time we deal with them. Yeah, sorry. Thank you so much. You highlighted uh, many perspectives about this project, Seville Mosque project. And uh, you mentioned uh, the daily life of uh, Muslims in Seville. So uh, from that, that point, I would like to ask that question. Uh, what is the significance of Seville for Muslim world? Yes, I think um, everyone in the, in the Muslim world probably knows Seville from the, from the past, from its glorious past in Al-Andalus. It was a time, um, it was a time which is um, very um, loved by all Muslims. And I think 
in general, it was one of the highest um, peaks of society and something that gave back to the whole world in many, many different aspects from medicine, astronomy, astrology, and many, many different aspects. So it's something that historically um, is a time that historically um, it was very fruitful. And it was also, uh, especially in the times that we live in, in now, it was something that we can look back and learn from which is the coexistence among all the people that lived in Al-Andalus at the time under the ruling of the Muslims. They were Christians, they were Jews, and they were all perfectly allowed to, um, to follow their religions and the places of worship were protected and all of these certain uh, things that happened. Um, so I think that's, that's why historically uh, Seville is very important for the Muslims. It was the capital of Al-Andalus at the time for a, a period of time as well. And now is um, the capital of the south of Spain, of Andalusia. Um, is the fourth largest city uh, of Spain. And um, I think Spain got over 80 million people, tourists, that came in last year. Obviously not this year with the whole COVID situation, but that was last year. And hopefully we'll get back to that next year, inshallah. But um, a lot of those tourists that come to Spain uh, obviously come through Seville. And um, they end up going to all these monuments and legacy that the Muslims left behind, like um, the Giralda, which is like the um, kind of the main monument of Seville, and uh, Alcázar, and all of this um, legacy that the Muslims left behind, which we uh, Spanish still benefit from, which is, I think, is a very, very positive thing as well. So I think that's um, probably a bit of a long uh, answer, but I think that's why probably historically people know of Seville or Ishvili, as they say in Arabic, um, historically was very important for the Muslims. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, as I know, uh, uh, as I follow you uh, from your work, uh, you have been organizing many events uh, with Muslim countries. So, can you please uh, explain to our audience what kind of projects are you being uh, involving uh, as a Spanish Muslims all around the world? And what kind of uh, Muslim countries, uh, which, which Muslim countries uh, are you collaborating? Can you please explain a little bit? Yes. Um... Alhamdulillah, we look, we've been extremely blessed uh, in how we have been received by many, many different countries. Um, and we have received support in, in different ways from different, different countries. And we, we still have many doors open with different countries. I don't want to get into may, too many details, but we've obviously been very well received by uh, Turkey. Malaysia was the first one that actually came forward and through the government actually um, supported us openly for the project. We've also very, had a very good relationship with Indonesia and its government. We've had uh, also a good relationship with the Emirates, with Turkey, with Kuwait, uh, with many different countries that have been uh, very, very helpful in uh, receiving us and, and helping us through government and also individuals. So, um, and uh, we've been also trying to be very, very creative. Like you were saying, the Canute campaign with Tal golf tournaments uh we've done uh, we've also been kind of featured in tv sitcoms uh in malaysia we have done gala dinners auctions um uh, we have done campaigns with uh, famous artists from malaysia and indonesia as well and singapore so alhamdulillah for, for us it's, it's really incredible and it's overwhelming to see how people really go out of the ways to help um, to help us in uh, in this beautiful project which is something that is, uh, goes, really goes beyond uh, a mere mosque in Seville for us. It's, it's more about the, the Islamic Cultural Center and its uh, repercussion that that will have in changing the perception that people have of Islam through example. I think it's, it's very primordial in this time that we as Muslims, um, instead of uh, wasting time in saying what we are not, we are not terrorists, we are not this, we are not that, that we take that time to explain who we are in the best possible way. So, and that, and to highlight and portray the beauty and the, the, the message of, of Islam and the, all the positive things that it brings with it. Uh, 
Yes, thank you, Mr. Hernandez. And of course, uh, Seville is uh, the beautiful and be beautiful, beautiful multicultural city, as I highlighted before. So uh, uh, it contains the uh, Muslim Golden Age. It reminds us Muslim Golden Age, of course. Uh, of course, it is very valuable city that we cannot uh, integrate it with today's politics. But I just want to ask you, of course, I don't want to enter into the politics, but uh, as you know, uh, there is a uh, Qatar bl blockade. So uh, did, your, did, did Qatar blockade affect your relations with uh, Gulf countries? Spanish Muslims' relations with Gulf countries and their behaviors towards Muslims in Spain, in some aspects, if you want to highlight any specific issues, just, you yes, can say. Um, to be honest, not really. I mean, uh, and I think it hasn't really affected us to cut it short, but I also want to highlight that, look, I understand how these countries go uh, and have these political issues among themselves but um, we are completely apolitical. We are a Spanish and our government is the government of Spain. And we try to have a, as cordial and as good relationship as we can with all different countries. And, uh, and the support that we received um, and that we, we, that we look for is, is from uh, Muslims, from something that unites us rather than separate us under the flags. It's something that unites us. Like when we did this kind of tear for a civil um, campaign, uh, Muslims from all over the world, from every single country, uh, Muslims and non-Muslims, you'd be surprised how many non-Muslims actually chipped in and com contributed to this, which really ennobles them. And it's, it's some part of the beauty of working in this project, how, to see how many mu uh, Muslims and non-Muslims came forward and supported. So for us, we really try to stay apolitical in these things. And uh, we really do wish the, the best for, for the Muslim Uman. We hope that uh, these differences or difficulties that they're going through will get solved for the better of the Ummah. And, but uh, from our perspective, from a really insignificant perspective of being a minority Muslims in Seville, um, all that we wish is that uh, for Muslims to, I think it's to highlight how Muslims can come together regardless of their nationalities to support something as beautiful as the building of a mosque and the Islamic cultural center in the beautiful city of Seville. Yeah, amazing, fantastic. Thank you so much. And so, you know, uh, as you highlighted that uh, toler tolerance will save the world, so we have been passing through uh, difficult uh, conditions right now all, all, all around the world, all world. So what would you like to say for humanity from Seville, lovely city, just briefly? Um, I mean, I just really hope that all of this, the people that are really struggling, that all of this uh, hardship and difficulty will go through, that we'll, we'll learn from it, that we we'll make the most out of it because everything in life passes and it's really what you make of it while it's happening, what you take with you, that we make the most of it, that we drive forward, that uh, everything will pass. This will also pass and that when, once it's gone, uh, I take the opportunity to invite everyone that is watching this interview to please come and visit us in Seville. Um, like you have said, it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Uh, it's a very welcoming city. The people are very warm. And, uh, and yeah, please come and visit us. And if you uh, pop by through a current uh, mosque in, that we have in Seville, and please pay us a visit. It'd be wonderful to receive you all, inshallah. Inshallah, after lockdown. After lockdown, yes, exactly. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> now we're in lockdown in London, as you know. <laughs> yes, in Spain as well. September. Yeah, in Spain. Yeah. Uh, Hope uh, life is going to be, our lives are going to be ease very soon after vaccine. Inshallah, yes, hopefully. Beautiful, beautiful and helpful scientists and doctors, they are working for us. They are frontliners, of course. So I saw I two of them were Turk from Turkey as well, indeed, yeah? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are from. Uh, they, are, they are Turkish German. Yeah. And yes, you are right. Mm, so thank you so much. Uh, really, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you for your time. Thank you for uh, the opportunity and invited me. So it was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Today, uh, 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 my dear friend Ibrahim Hernandez, uh, he's the director of Seville Mosque Foundation. And today we discussed the, their NIMOS projects. Uh, hopefully it will give nearly 30,000 Muslims living in the capital, uh, really their first place of worship, uh, hopefully after 700 years. So uh, thank you for joining us uh, for our discussion and conversation today. Uh, I wish you a fruitful day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, greetings from lovely London. Thank you so much, Elif. Uh, thank you thank so you. much. And, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ibrahim. Thank, thank you for your time. Thank you. Stay safe. Ma'asalaamu.